Hi everyone and welcome to the Hair Loss Show. My name is Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about FUE uh, hair transplant surgery. Handheld FUE versus the Artest machine. So stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. Thanks again for watching and please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. So uh, if you're looking at FUE surgery, one of the things that you may come across when you're doing your research is FUE being performed by handheld devices, so motorized handheld devices. And there are other devices on the market, um, robotic assisted devices, and specifically that one's called the Artas machine. And so uh, one common thing that uh, gets asked is, well, which is better? Is this FUE by handheld or FUE by the Artas uh, superior? And so full disclosure, I don't have an Artas machine, but I do know a lot about the, uh, the Artas machine. But in essence, it's exactly the same. The graft quality that you get from both FUE, handheld motorized device, and the Artas machine for uh, all, all intents and purposes are the same, but the caveat there, it is highly dependent on the skill set of the individual. So let's take the Artas robot first of all. Now the Artas robot is a fantastic piece of technology. And what it does is it's able, it's got a camera, it's able to look at a certain grid section on the back of the scalp and the donor area. It's able to analyze that area that count the number of graphs and look at the exit angle of the hair and therefore determine uh, what angle the motorized punch should come in at in order to harvest that uh, hair follicle. So from that perspective, it is, it is great. And as a, as a user, how you uh, control that is that you are looking at a screen and therefore making sure that the choices that the robot is making in terms of graph, graph selection that you approve and agree with. All right, so from a user perspective, it is, it is excellent because for ergonomically, you're not having to uh, hunch over uh, the, the head of a patient and a machine is actually doing the harvesting for you. On the other hand, the, there is the handheld device which you have full control. You're able to judge the exact uh, area that you want to work on. You're able to add a little bit of artistry into the mix as well and blend into to other areas and maybe reduce the density that you're taking in, in other areas as well. It's not defined um, in a defined grid-like uh, manner as is with the Artas. Um, and you're also able to respond to the different uh, texture and uh, and the state of the, the skin of each individual. Everyone is different. The graph quality is gonna be different in each individual. The skin turgor and tone is gonna to be different. And when you're using handheld, a handheld device, you get immediate real-time feedback and you're able to, to judge appropriately. There are a lot of FUE handheld FUE devices on the market, uh, different types of punches. They're sharp, there's dull, there's you know, hybrid type punches. There are uh, machines that have a suction assisted uh, device that help extract the grafts at the same time. At the end of the day, it really depends on the technical skill level of your surgeon. For me, for example, I prefer handheld. I have a better control of the area that I'm working on, uh, but I don't have an Artas machine, and so I'm probably biased from that perspective. That said, I've seen excellent graphs from a handheld FUE device, and I've seen excellent graphs from uh, the Artas machine. So I think they're both excellent choices. But the reality of the situation is that's only half the equation because when you're having a hair transplant, how you harvest the hair is only the first half of the uh, battle. The second part is how you create the recipient area, how you design the hairline, how you structure where you're going to put the relative graphs. Are you going to give, give the frontal hairline a nice softer look and add the density behind that? How do you create that hairline that looks natural, that looks age appropriate as well? And these are all parts, the artistry parts that you, we haven't 
as of yet, been able to delegate to, to a machine to, to do uh, for, um, on its own. So we still have to do the recipient site creation, we still have to do the design of the hairline, and certainly implantation um, in, the, in the recipient area. So I don't think there's necessarily a, a better option, whether it's handheld or whether it's RTAS, but certainly it depends on your surgeon, how uh, they feel about it, what device they have available to them, what they feel most comfortable with, and what they have experience with and what their experience is in, in this field. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next episode. Take care.